Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Tokyo Marigold, a Japanese movie from 2001 that stars Reina Tanaka and was directed by Jun Ichikawa. 21-year-old Eriko breaks up with her boyfriend after their date at the circuit, but life without a boyfriend is indeed dull. Boredom occupies her even when she completely switches her job. Then she meets Tamura at a party and takes a liking to him. During their first date, Tamura abruptly announces that he has a girlfriend studying in the United States, and his innocent look enhances Eriko's shock as she returns home completely dumbstruck. After this incident, she tries to give up on Tamura, but fate plays with her. Now this plot synopsis sells the movie as a romance, but in my opinion, this is more of a drama that has an infusion of romance. Now the synopsis also has a very playful tone to it in how it's written, but this film is certainly not idealistic in its depiction of romance, opting instead for more of a realistic and modern approach to things. And perhaps the most important thing to understand is that Tokyo Marigold is a very natural, down-to-earth, realistic, deliberately paced film. So if you've seen your you know, your fair share of Japanese movies, or art house movies specifically, you might gather the impression that this is going to be one of those everyday life kind of films, and you would be correct in that assumption. Early on, it shows our protagonist doing everyday things, you know, taking the train, walking from place to place, playing with a baseball, working, interacting with friends and colleagues, etc., Big, dramatic story beats are practically non-existent in this film. But it compensates for that with some nicely crafted art house sensibilities. Now, in the hands of a lesser director, this strategy could result in a snooze fest. But re-watching Junichikawa's films lately, uh, many of which I've been reviewing, has really reminded me of why I like him so much as a director. You know, a movie like this, in theory should be boring. <laughs> it really should be. But on the contrary, it has a very nice like style and rhythm to it. And by the 30 minute mark, I began to, I guess, comprehend what I would describe as the lethargic existence of our protagonist as she just kind of drifts through her daily life. And Ichikawa somehow makes it an interesting experience. Now, Reina Tanaka plays one of her more reserved, gloomy characters, but this is likely one of her strongest performances. You know, her emotions are very tempered, but she's convincing as she carries the film on her back from start to finish. And uh, the direction, the camera work, and the music are all very good, which of course helps out. Now, I must reemphasize that this is very laid back stuff. Personally, I was hooked within the opening, you know, handful of minutes. But if you really hate, like, slow-paced, art house, everyday living type movies, and you prefer, like, dense storytelling that really drives things forward, Tokyo Marigold may not connect with you. On the other hand, if this is your kind of movie that you uh, enjoy, there's a lot to like in this, I think. And it's currently available on YouTube with subtitles. So just search the title, really easy to find. I, I recommend this quite strongly for a very certain kind of viewer. <laughs> but if you've seen this, you end up watching it, let me know what you think. And as always, folks, I'll see you next time.